Hello everyone, my name is Aidan Trubman and today I'm going to demonstrate how to install Skydive onto Kubernetes using Helm charts. Let's start off first by installing a local Kubernetes cluster using Kind. And by using kubectl cluster info, we can verify that our cluster is up and running. And by using kubectl get nodes, we verify that we have a single node running on our cluster. I'm going to install a Helm plugin named Helm Git, which enables to install Helm charts directly off GitHub. And now we can proceed to define the Skydive Helm repo off our GitHub account. And now let's refresh Helm chart indexes. Now the stage is ready to install the Skydive Analyzer Helm chart. Now let's inspect what the Skydive Analyzer Helm chart deployed on our cluster. And you'll notice that we have a deployment object a pod and a service which exposes on port 8082 the web UI. Next, we install the Skydive Agent Helm chart, which is responsible for acquiring the physical topology and performing traffic related operations. Finally, using kubectl port forward, we can uh, expose the 8082 uh, port so that we can access our Skydive deployment through our local web browser. We switch to the browser and open a new tab accessing localhost 8082, pointing us to the Skydive Analyzer web UI. We can see now on the left the topology view with resources which are both physical and Kubernetes. The topology view enables to filter out part of the objects and focus on the objects of interest. In this case, we start off with looking at the physical resources. We expanded our view and can now see the physical node, the containers, and the network interfaces which connect one to the other. And just to demonstrate a small subset of the capabilities, I'm now going to create a capture uh, and define it that it uh, captures all the traffic on a specific node which is highlighted in yellow and once I activate it I can then uh, view captured data. To view the actual captured traffic we scroll down uh, on the right until we reach the flow menu. We press it, expand it, and can then see the captured data in a table. Finally, we are going to use Skydive to explore Kubernetes topology. So first, we use a Kubernetes filter, and in the center of the topology view is a top-level cluster object. We expand it several times, and you'll now see on the screen a multitude of Kubernetes uh, objects. To be able to reason about these objects, it's sometimes uh, good to highlight only the category of objects of uh, interest. In this case, I have highlighted only the storage related uh, objects. So that is it uh, regarding um, exploring Kubernetes uh, resources for this video. 
For more info about Skydive, please access the links below. Thank you for watching.